The S&P 500 daily chart looking back to the top January 2022. A tick higher than this high will give the S&P 500 a new intraday high. And this is where that D wave up wave 5 and D wave down wave C that printed ended here. The correction wave we couldn't get the A or the B to make a new high. So we had the correction and the rest is history here. And now we're doing the same thing here. So the D wave up wave 5 and, and the D wave down wave A are here. And I'm going to zoom into this area now. So all price has to do is tick higher than this high, 47.9330. And the D wave 5 will shift over and the D wave down wave C will print. So it will be on the 5C. And that will be the very beginning of possible upside and having the 5C shift again especially if the rate cuts pan out. First things first though, let's get the first 5C to print on a tick higher than this high. And the Bollinger Bands upper and lower are forming the pincher movement here, so a little bit of a squeeze developing. And the upper Stark Band and Channel 3 High are very close together around the 4800 area. So that's pretty good resistance there. And a new ongoing demand line printed and a straight up close below that level will qualify it for end of day on the 10th. Same thing with the ongoing supply line at that level for the 10th. They close above that level and that will be qualified too. So either way, ongoing demand line or the supply line could get qualified. And the 21 EMA in dashed blue has just been kind of porpoising around the 20 simple moving average in solid blue. So it's underneath it now. Let's see if it can get back above the 20. And the combo and sequential cell setup 2 printed and to negate that for end of day on the 10th there would need to be a close below 4688.66 for the price flip to the buy setup count 1. And the conversion line for the cloud has been at that level for a few days so pretty good support. If it gets back under the conversion line then we're in between the baseline and conversion line again and could bounce around in there. And this combo cell countdown 13 completion is 3 bars before 12 bar metric rule where it's 12 bars since it printed. So that means the sequential has four more days to go before the 12th bar so there could still be downside price action associated with these two the combo and sequential 13s even though there already was a downdraft there could be another one and the combo and sequential sell risk levels are there the sequential is right at 4801.88 so that's right in line with the channel 3 high and the upper stark band. Let's turn those back on. So that makes that even more formidable resistance there. And the combo disqualified sell risk level is at 4814.81 right above it. And they could become qualified tomorrow with a close above either one of them. So there was an up close followed by a down close. If there's an up close above these levels end of day on the 10th, they become qualified. And in this S&P 500 daily cloud chart, it's been two days since we got the swing point here. So there's been two higher lows we need three more to make it five or it could have the 
ATR4 caused the zigzag to swing a little bit earlier. So we have to monitor that. And here's what the ATR4 looks like, this last column, so the 9th and the 8th. So we have a lower ATR than on the 8th, so there's really no threat right now of printing the swing point due to ATR4. So we'll keep looking for five consecutive higher lows. And the main reason for the S&P 500 just idling away is that the initial jobless claims on Thursday the 11th is coming up along with the big CPI reports here. So they have headline inflation ticking up a little by one-tenth from the last print and then core year-over-year year ticking down from the last print, so 3.8 and last time it was 4.0. So these have got to come in in line at least with this or if there's a beat, so if that one goes lower and same thing with this one, if they both go lower that will be a pretty big beat and we will be skyrocketing to new intraday highs for the S&P 500. If not, if it just comes in in line just exactly like they have it. Well, it could go up a little and the resistance will come into play. It won't be skyrocketing, but it could be some pretty good up moves. If this comes in higher, both of them then it's conversely we'll be testing the daily baseline more than likely and here's the cloud baseline 4669.90 ticked up a little bit from yesterday